Hello fellow YouTubers, it's been ages since I posted any video on my YouTube channel and there's a good reason for that. Um, I haven't made any material. Uh, but today, uh, as you can see, in the middle of the summer, uh, I am going to uh, remove my camera, uh, show you guys how my gear uh, looks after a, a season of photographing. Um, I also heard some noises from my filter wheel, which I'm going to take a closer look to. So, it's a seasonal upgrade and maintenance. Before I remove the old fan, um, I want to measure the vibrations and compare to when I have added this uh, Fractal Design uh, R3 silent fan. So I'm going to do that first, I'm going to lay it down here, I'm going to remove my soft case on my phone and I'm going to record with an app. I'm just going to set it up and measure for one minute and let's see how that is done. Okay, so we know the uh, value before the uh, switch and I'm going to remove the cabinet. And I need to release the old cable like this and just draw this out. This is a GST-XH cable, two pole, and this is supposed to fit here. I'm going to try that out before I solder anything. Yeah, perfect. We are going to attach um, the connector to this wire and let's have a look here. Um, if you hold this connector like this, the ground cable is the one uh, on the right, the middle one is the 12 volt positive and the left one is the PVM cable. We are not going to use that one. The connector is upside down and so that means that the leftmost cable here is the, uh, the ground. So I'm going to cut that one first and peel that off like this and I'm going to turn on my solder iron strip the cable just a couple of millimeters oops they are really really thin need to be very careful here like that I'm going to use some heat shrinks and I believe I have to go with the smallest one and about one centimeter will be perfect like this This is quite delicate. Now I'm going to cut the red wire. I'm going to strip this cable and some 
red shrimp wrap. I'm going to um, use a lighter to fuse this shrink wrap together to make a good connection. There we go. And I am going to cut this PVM cable, which we don't use, like that. And we have a new, um, better suited, low vibration fan. Let's switch this out. I'm going to remove the old fan. Like this. I do want to use the fan guard. So I'm going to keep that one as well. Um, I will, however, um, use the old screws. I'm not going to mount this just bolt on. I will use some uh, foam in between. I have attached the bolts here and the fan guard. And I have used some um, adhesive sorbetane. Uh, it's kind of an insulation foam. Um, used for uh, HVACs uh, between the pipes from the indoor to the outdoor unit. And I also um, touch them on both sides. I'm going to trim this off just a little bit like this. As you can see on the fan, it spins this way. So it's going to blow the air from the decal and down. So I need to put it like this and be careful to watch uh, so that the cable uh, comes on the same side as the cutouts for the USB and power. So I'm going to try to mount this onto the screws here and poke it through the sorbet thing on the upside like this. There we go. And I believe this will be pretty good. <clears throat> Let's attach the fan, the USB cable and the power. I can barely feel any vibrations at all. I can feel the airflow. We're going to reassemble the camera. I'm going to attach the cable. Twenty-five percent less uh, vibrations, and uh, I call this a success. 